Hey everyone, welcome to another video of the series. Today we're going to discuss how to create your first teleyap program for FTC Robotics using Android Studios. It might seem a little daunting at first, but trust me, it's not as difficult as it may seem. First things first, we need to make sure you have everything ready. You'll need your FTC robot and a laptop or computer with Android Studios installed. If you don't already have Android Studios set up and installed, I recommend you watch this video on the right hand side of the screen. It will also be linked in the description down below. Connect your laptop to the USB-C port of your control hub. If you don't have a USB Type-C cable on hand, you will also need to download the Rev hardware client to connect your laptop. Click the, click the link in the description down below to connect to your robot wirelessly. Once you have the Rev hardware client installed, connect to the robot's Wi-Fi. If this is your first time doing this, the, the Wi-Fi name will start with either FIRST or FTC and the password will just be password. Once you are connected, open up the Rev hardware client and ensure that it sees the connected control hub. It should pop up on the screen after pressing refresh. If you have all your materials ready, it's time to get to work. The first thing you need to do is open up Android Studios. If you watched the previous video on setting up Android Studios, then your screen should look something like mine. First, I actually provide sample clips for Steam just starting, and we'll use that to start. To access it, we need to use the file manager, which is on the left hand side of our screen, and click the folder titled FTC Robot Controller, and then the blue folder named Java, and then the folder titled external.samples. And finally, double click the file name named basic omni op mode underscore linear dot java. This tutorial assumes you have a four wheel mechanum drive, but if you only use two motors, then use the basic op mode underscore linear dot java. To copy the entire document, we can press control A and then control C. Go back to the file that you created for this teleop by going back a little further down than from the top of the screen and paste the code into this new file by pressing control V. Delete the line that says at disabled and change the name of the program by right clicking on the line with a red underline, clicking show context actions, and then pressing rename class basic omni op mode linear to test teleop. You now have a program that you can run on your robot by pressing the green play triangle. From here, you'll set up your robot's configuration settings. Open up your driver's hub or phone and go to the driver station app. Press the three dots in the top right corner and click on the option edit configuration from the menu that pops up. Next, click on the option Create New Configuration. Click on the text box that says Control Hub, and then add motors to your configuration. You'll do this by checking where your motors are plugged into, or what hub and what port, and then adding them in. For example, if our front left motor is plugged into port 0 on the Control Hub, then we would add it as such. The name is very important and must be exactly as what it is stated in the code. In the case of this sample, we would name our front left motor left underscore front underscore drive. Repeat this for your other three drive motors. This process may take a bit, especially with messy wiring. Once you have everything set up, it's important to test your program. Connect your robot to your computer with a USB cable or with Wi-Fi and hit the run button in Android Studios. Your program will now be running on your robot. In order to run it, go to the driver station app on your driver station or phone and press the downward arrow labeled teleop and then select the, select the file name basic omni op mode linear op mode. Press the initialization and start the buttons. Plug in a controller and use the joysticks. Ideally, going forward and backwards on the left joystick should make the robot forward, drive forward and backwards. Left and right should make it strafe left and strafe right, while the right joystick should turn the robot if moved left or right. If attempting to initialize the program gives you an error, it's almost always configuration. So ensure that you name the motors exactly what they're named in the code. If it initializes but doesn't move the right way, ensure that you put the motors in the correct motors and ports on the configuration. If you found this video helpful, please consider showing your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching.